for ADA compliance, you do, want, you do not want to have something that's automatic in your slideshow. So um, you should choose something that requires a click of the mouse to advance the slides. So um, it, it also can affect the auditory sensory um, problems as well if they have moving parts and they're not used to those moving parts. So if you have um, like bulleted lists coming up one bullet at a time and um, I have people that um, it actually makes them nauseous <laughs> to, to see that. So it, you're, you're much better off having something that's um, lower key, less movement, and um, that way you're not going to be um, uh, going against any sensory issues and stuff for students. So, and everything should be, um, it should not be automatic. It should be on a click basis. Less is more. And the less transitions and animation or anything like that um, seems to be a little bit easier on the eyes for most people. And it's not just ADA. A lot of people have issues with um, moving information. It's very distracting. So um, put as little in there as possible. I would say that adding a little bit would be nice. I, the, some of the pitfalls I see is some of the faculty that just do the straight slides and then no transitions, no animation, no nothing, and um, I, th I think it makes it very boring for students to go through. Um, I would like to see um, not just straight PowerPoints and you know give them something a little bit more, whether it be clicks to go out and look at videos or embed videos and things like that so that it's a little bit more interacting for students. Thank you.